All right, guys. Yep, we heard you. There's almost an echo in here of how many times we've had the comment or question, when are you gonna flash the new Harley Davidsons? Well, we're gonna do that today. We're gonna show you exactly how you can use a Power Vision 3 to flash your 23 and a half and newer Harley Davidson motorcycle with the enhanced security that's inside these new ECUs. We'll walk through the complete install process, how you can mount it on your bars, interact with PowerPort, interact with our website. And then for you PV OG guys, the original PowerVision users, just kind of the, the difference that you're gonna have to see with the PV3 versus your old unit. But let's get into it. PowerVision 3 is our flagship tuning device and the industry standard for getting more performance out of your Harley Davidson motorcycle. This specific device is for the 2023 and a half Gen 2 Milwaukee 8 motorcycles and it is designed to get the most out of your ride. Whether you're throwing on a set of slip-ons or a high flow intake and a big two into two exhaust, this product is designed to cater the fueling, the timing, the drive wire tables inside your ECU so that your ride is the ultimate ride. What bikes does this new PowerVision 3 fit? Well, you can check out our website for detailed information on which bike it does apply to, but in course, this includes 2023 Road Glide CVOs with the 121 inch motor and VVT. It includes 24 Street Glide 117 HOs and beyond. So check out our website for the exact bikes listed that this product does apply to. Do you already have tunes available? Yes, we have some tunes already ready for these bikes and we will continue to produce these as time goes on to fit the new soft tails, the 2025 uh, bikes as well. Next up, will it work with PowerVision OG or PVOG and Win PV? Nope, absolutely not. PV3 and PV4 are the only platforms that will support this bike going forward. Think about it this way. PVOG came out 2011-12-ish era, so that would be like Apple releasing an iOS or a software update for the iPhone 4. Well beyond that, that is uh, that technology cannot support this ECU. Do I also need to purchase a flash license for my first bike? Answer to that is no. When you snag a new PV3 off the shelf, one of our ones that's preloaded, ready to go for this Gen 2 Milwaukee 8 style bike, that has the ability to flash one motorcycle. Should you wish to flash additional motorcycles, you don't need to buy a second Power Vision 3. Just purchase a flash license to unlock that functionality on your existing PV3 and save yourself the extra cost. That's a savings of about $234 or as much as $332 for tuning shops when purchasing tokens in bulk. But the first vehicle you address with a brand new out of the box PV3, you can tune that first bike and no additional flash license is necessary. Do you need to remove the ECU in order to use this PowerVision 3? Absolutely not. Simply connects right through the diagnostic port, which we'll show you as we go through our installation process on where that port is located, but never will you need to remove the ECU to flash using PowerVision 3. I already have a PV3 or 4. Can I use it to flash these new vehicles? Yes, you can use your existing already married PowerVision 3 as long as you have the right uh, updated firmware and then also the right diagnostic cable that connects through the Euro 5 connector behind the side panel under or under the seat on your bike. If you already have married that PowerVision 3 to a prior bike, you will of course need a flash license. You're addressing a new bike. That's exchange those universal tokens and get your next flash license. In addition, there's what's known as a feature license. To put it simply, Dynojet offers multiple different kinds of digital products, the most common of which is a tune or flash license. This is what's known as a vehicle solution, meaning it is specific to each vehicle you are working with. On the other hand, we have device specific products, otherwise known as device solutions. These are generally advanced features that allow your device to perform more capabilities than the standard feature set that comes out of the box. A good example of this would be our ABS bleed feature we announced a couple of months ago that allows you to bleed your ABS system at home. Feature licenses are one-time purchases for each device, whereas flash licenses are one-time purchases for each vehicle. 
In this case, you'll need to obtain a Group 26 support feature license, which enables the ability for your existing PV3 to work with new Gen 2 M8 fitments. That's a one-time purchase. Your PV3 will then natively consume that after you drag it onto the device, it won't be present on your file system anymore, but it will live in perpetuity on the internal memory so that you can use that device then to flash not only the first Gen 2 Milwaukee 8 bike, but each one after that as well. So only one feature license to upgrade the internals, that's it. Every additional bike is just a standard flash license. And lastly, does this PV3 or 4 have auto-tune capabilities out of the box? Target tune, ABS bleed, and adapt. Well, not quite. This is not shipping with auto-tune enabling on device at the moment. It's also not enabling target tune on device. It is not uh, able to do the ADAP style feature. So like ABS bleed or add and cruise or any of those other features that we have recently added to our flagship PB3 and four devices at the moment. Yes, it is accepting of our wideband devices that we mentioned. You can be a full-time closed loop guy riding down the road. That card number is AT-130 to get you set up with a wideband monitoring kit. So as you ride down the road, you can have that wideband data in your data logs. You can have that on your dyno to review in PowerCore, review in data center uh, to get your tune refined. So of course, why even release without auto tune and target tune? Well, we gotta get you guys tuning these bikes. We've spent nearly two years developing just to get through security, just to get the tune files built, to be able to pass signatures and make sure that we are playing nicely with this ECU. So it's a huge lift and we gotta get it into our tuning center's hands so they can begin tuning the bikes that they've been asking for for two years now. Now that we've answered a few questions about this brand new product launch, let's walk through how to install this PowerVision 3 on your Harley Davidson. So of course, a couple things you'll need. The PowerVision 3 that you just bought, part number PV3-15-04. You also need the diagnostic cable for this process. We also recommend you connect your bike to a battery tender before you start. So first things first, we're going to need to connect the PV3 to your bike's ECU. This process can vary depending on the kind of model you're working on, so make sure to check with your manual that comes included with your PV3. In our case here, we're working with a 2024 Road Glide, so we'll start by removing the left saddle bag so we can take off the side cover that shields the ECU. Here, you can see the ECU along with the diagnostic port, which has a red top and isn't connected to any Anything. Take your PV3 cable and connect it to this diagnostic port. Once you've done that, if you want, you can do some cable management and route the other end of the cable up to your handlebars where you can then plug it into your PV3 and have it mounted to show real-time gauges and quick access to other tunes. If you'd like to purchase a PV3 mount, that is also available on our website and linked in the description. Now go ahead and key on your bike, but don't turn your engine on. We'll let it walk through this boot up screen. And now this has identified the bike. We're, what we're looking for here is to generate a PV info file that snags the ECU serial number and the VIN that is contained on this bike. All right, so now we can turn that handlebar switch back off, jump back inside and connect to our computer. So you'll use your USB cable that's included in the box with your PV3. Connect this to your computer and then plug it into the PowerVision 3. Next, navigate to the dinojet.com website. And look for that rotating banner that we're now flashing all Gen 2 Milwaukee 8 Harley Davidson motorcycles. Jump through that page and you'll see that yes, PowerVision 3 is available, PowerVision 4 is available, and all the other accessories that you can snag for your bike. Click on that Get Tunes button, and this will prompt you to enter the year, make, and model of your vehicle. Once you have entered your vehicle info, you'll see all of the Dynajet off-the-shelf tune files available for your vehicle. You'll see that if you'd like to download any of them, you'll have to log in. So that's what we're going to do. On the top right of the page, you'll see a black button that says Download Power Vision 3 or CX Tunes. Go ahead and click that to log in. You will need to have an account with Dynajet.com to access this page to upload your PV info file. So now that you're logged in, click on the upload your PV info file. And with your PowerVision 3 connected, it'll enumerate as a jump drive in your Windows Explorer. Look for that folder called PV info, double click on that PV info file to upload. Right below this, you'll see generate Wurmlock file. Click on that and let it process. This can take upwards of 200 seconds to process the data that we need to deliver the right file to you. Once that completes, click 
download vermlock file. Save this file to your PowerVision 3. Down below, you'll see all of the tunes that we have made for your bike, along with the installation STK file that we also need. So it will be mandatory. You will need that OS STK for your bike. Save that to your PowerVision 3, along with at least one of the DinoJet tune files. We have a stock DJT file. For those of you who just wanna get the process rolling, you don't wanna use our two into one file or our slip on file, totally fine. You at least need the stock DJT, which is just a complete replication of the stock file in your ECU, just with a DinoJet tune loaded through it to enable the next set of the process. For those that don't know, an STK or stock file is a direct duplicate of the original software that the vehicle manufacturer shipped with the vehicle. The stock file contains the entire stock calibration of uh, the vehicle's ECU. Generally, these files are much larger in size, typically around 1,000 plus kilobytes. A tune file denoted with the extension .djt is a DinoJet tune file that is different from the stock file. These are the files that are designed to offer better performance or to provide the necessary changes when modifications, such as an exhaust system, have been made or added to the vehicle. DJT files are much smaller in size, usually around 5 to 35 kilobytes, because they only contain the areas of the stock file that have changes made within the tune. So now you have three things on your PowerVision 3. You have that Vermlock file, you have the OSSTK, and you have ADJT. Those are the three files that you will need. Now, that Vermlock file will be consumed by the internal file system. It will not appear on your PowerVision 3. The next time you connect to USB, it will consume and it will not be present in your Windows Explorer directory. However, the OSSTK and the DinoJet Tune file will remain there. So now we can head back to your bike. Let's connect back to that diagnostic port, enter the flash tune menu after keying on or pressing that power on button on your handlebars. That flash tune menu, you'll see that DinoJet Tune file or that DJT file there that you snagged and start the process. This is a lengthy process. We need to do a little bit of things extra from prior years and prior ECUs. So make sure to have your bike on a battery tender and not the SAE connector that comes on the bike. Do go direct to the battery terminals with a nice output, a high output amperage charger so that your bike doesn't go dead during this process. So this will flash in a DinoJet tune file after selecting flash tune. It will pair to the bike. It will prompt you with, yep, this is gonna take some time. And there we go. So this process will continue. It will install our DinoJet tune file. And then immediately upon getting our file loaded, now it will begin a read. The read part here is what you're used to in pass. Just that walk up to the bike, read ECU. This is the different part where we have to do a little flash first. Now we can read. This whole process of reading this STK is the actual native calibration segment of your STK. You can open that in PowerCore, you can make your own tuning changes, but this will be the STK that acts as your base calibration when doing your own custom tuning. But yeah, that kind of completes the process of installing that interaction with our website to snag those three files, flashing of that DJT file to get you going and then get the STK as part of that native born read and then go on your way. Flash another DinoJet tune file if you found one that was applicable to you or begin your custom tuning process. So say you ride this bike for one year, five years, however long, and you do want to return this bike to stock, you're gonna pull your slip-ons, pull your nice uh, shiny exhaust and sell this motorcycle. Well, of course you can return this bike to stock. That's the whole purpose of that STK file that was read during the installation process. You can remove all your fancy parts, flash that STK file that always lives on your PowerVision 3, flash it back to stock, sell it down to the road to the next guy. So for you guys out there who this isn't a new out of the box, PowerVision 3 purchased as PB3-15-04, let's walk through how you will upgrade your device to be able to work with these new style ECUs. So of course, step one, we're gonna update the firmware on your device to be current and ready to address these new ECUs. So up on the hamburger menu of our website, click there and jump down to the support tab. Navigate over to downloads and PowerVision 3 when that pops up. Down a little further, you'll see the firmware files and you're looking for the one that says Harley Davidson. It will be a 
42 or 43 or whatever our next version may be uh, as these videos progress and as we release more and more firmware. Download that firmware file and save that directly to your PowerVision 3. Once it's on your PowerVision 3, you can then press the back button on your PowerVision 3, navigate to device tools and update device. Select this firmware file and let it update the firmware system on your PowerVision 3. All right, so now we've updated the firmware on our device. Now we need to make this device capable of addressing these new ECUs. So next up, we're still on our dinojet.com website, log in and then jump into your account overview page. Click on the Universal Tokens tab on the left. And here, after we have already plugged into our, our new vehicle, our Gen 2 Milwaukee 8 type of bike, and we've generated that PV info file, scroll down to the device solutions area. You're looking for the feature license here that says G26 support or group 26 support. This is 10 tokens. Exchange 10 universal tokens to snag this feature license. Download that feature license, save it directly to the PowerVision 3. Now, you'll see that this does live on your file system at current. The next time you enumerate to USB, it will be consumed by the internal file system and it will live on the device in perpetuity. You can also check out your PV info file as well for a new field called group 26 support and it will say enabled. That's a good indicator of if your device off the shelf or not, or if it's been sitting in your toolbox of, well, can this address my next bike? So in addition to that feature license, now your firmware is updated, now your feature license is updated. If this has already been married to another bike and you've used that first lock slot on the PowerVision 3, you will need a regular flash license. You can flash as many bikes as you would like with the PowerVision 3. Let's upload that PV info file. It will say, here's how many tokens it takes and download that license file. This will save as a .lic file on your computer. Save that directly to your PowerVision 3. Now this PowerVision 3 is completely ready to go. We've upgraded our firmware, updated the feature license, and now we have a flash license ready to go to address this bike. I shouldn't know that much about our website and where to click and do stuff. <laughs> Thank you for joining us for another exciting DinoJet product launch. Check out DinoJet.com for other information about our other products. And if you're looking for a custom tuning shop, check out our dealer locator and they can guide you into one of these guys' hands and get your bike custom tuned. Also, if you are a tuning shop and you're not on our dealer locator, feel free to get in touch with us. We'll get you added to help drive customers into your doors. Check out DinoJet University for our online courses, sign up for educational content, peruse our forums with maybe some questions that we've already answered for you. And of course, stay tuned.